fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the DX Vice Stamp Selection Demons Trooper set from Kamen Rider Revice. This was a premium Bandai release and it gives us two new Vice Stamps here. We have the Trooper Spider Vice Stamp on this side and a picture of the Trooper right there. And then if we spin it around we have the Trooper Kuwagata Vice Stamp and the Trooper right there. So towards the end of the show, I think George had made some extra Demons drivers and distributed them out to kind of, you know, army build some Troopers to protect the humans that were resisting. And you can see all the Troopers there in the background. And here is the Spider on this side, and then the Kuwagata over here on this side. So kind of neat. We will check out everything they do. Let's go ahead and get them out of the box, and we'll take a closer look. All right, so we have the Spider Trooper and Kuwagata Trooper Vice stamps here. I really like the color scheme, although I will say with Spider especially, it's a very dark color scheme. So you have this black paint here on the Spider, then you have kind of a darker red for the translucent plastic, and then you have this kind of like brownish gray color. I really like the colors, and I think it does look cool, uh, but I think this one looks a little bit better just because it has that pop of gold and I think the gold really stands out against the kind of darker brownish gray and red. I just think that looks really, really sharp. Not that this one looks bad, but I just think this one looks a little bit cooler for that. Uh, here are the magnet plates underneath. Look pretty good. Uh, for Spider, here is the QR code. Typical construction. You got the three batteries here. You got the um, speakers on the side there. So there you go. Spider Trooper. So I don't know, when it's doing the standby, this one's alpha and this one's beta. I don't know why. I guess they didn't want to say spider or kuwagata. I'm not really sure. I do really like the standby music for both of those, though. I think that sounds really cool. So since these are meant to be used with a demon's driver, we'll start there first. Well, that's kind of disappointing. It's just doing that kind of power-up, generic, colorful circle that we get from time to time. Why didn't they just use the spider again? It's already in there. That seems really strange to me. Extra, 
So I think this is a pretty fun set, but the part that I just don't get is that these are meant to function with the Demon's Driver. That's how they were used on the show. 
and their functionality with the Demon's Driver is by far the most boring part of this set. I just don't really understand why they chose to go with that special or extra multicolored circle for the power-ups. I feel like Spider and Kuwagata were already there and you could have just reused those screens. I'd have to go back and, and watch the episodes. I don't really remember what they used on the show. Maybe they did use the multicolored circle and they just wanted to be faithful to that. I mean, I can understand that they probably didn't plan for these, you know, when the Demon's Driver was made. So they don't have a specific trooper sound in there to reference. But you do have Spider and Kuwagata from the previous versions of those Vi stamps. So that one's just a little weird to me. But... I do really like the Vice stamps. I think they look great. I like the color schemes. The sound they make are really fun. Um, I don't really know why one's Alpha, one's Beta, but then sometimes there's Spider Trooper and Kuwagata Trooper. But it's fun. I like all the sounds. I really like the sounds they make with the Revice driver, and all the other drivers are really fun as well. It's just weird to me that they were meant to go with the Demon's driver, and to me... That's definitely the most boring part of all their possible functionality. So I still think it's a fun set. I still think it's worth checking out. I don't think this was too expensive from what I remember. I got mine on Toe Collectibles a while ago, and I think it was somewhere in the neighborhood of $60, which for two uh, premium Bandai Vi stamps, I feel like is really not that bad price-wise. So I think they're worth adding to the collection, but I do understand how for some people these would be an easy skip they're not really like a main character. Their functionality is not so amazing that you need it, but I still think they're fun. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks so much for watching.